welcome back. In the last LiveWire Productions tutorial, we exported a camera from 3ds Max into Adobe After Effects, which is great but begs the question, how do we align our text or images into the correct 3D space of After Effects? Which is to say, how do I take this 3D point in Max and place it at this point on top of the rendered 2D layer? Let's take a moment to understand what we are dealing with here. In 3ds Max, we have a box, and using the Max Script listener, we're going to query the box's position. And what we get back are box 1's x, y, and z coordinates, which are 10, 20, 30. OK, that seems straightforward. Now let's dive into After Effects, where I've already gone ahead and placed the text layer into the correct position. Now we might expect that position to be 10, 20, 30, but if we look at the true position, we'll see something a little different. What we'll see is 10, negative 30, and 20. So while we expect positions to always be in the format of XYZ, what After Effects requires in terms of 3ds Max positions is for them to be input as X, negative Z, and Y. So let's try this out now. With our first letter A, which we want to be here, at this dummy's position. We will select the dummy, query the position, and what we get is negative 70, 70, 0. So this is x, y, z. And what we want is x, negative z, y. So we should have negative 70, negative 0, which is 0, and 70. Let's try that back in After Effects. Negative 70, 0, 70. Okay, well, there's one, I guess. But is anyone else starting to feel like this is slow, confusing, and annoying? Luckily, there is a tool to help us. I am using the script called AE Transform Exporter, which is written by Aaron DeBallo, and there will be a link to where you can download this in the video description. So now all we have to do is select the dummy, this is for the letter B, copy the position to our clipboard, and paste it onto our letter in After Effects. Perfect. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. And there we have it. Fantastic. This is the exact method I used to place these photos and it all worked out perfectly. Except, hang on, now the people are floating on top of the walls and are not behind them. Don't panic. You don't have to re-render. I'll be back in our next episode and show you exactly how to fix this problem using object IDs. No more re-renders and no painstaking masking. So look out for that. Once again, I'm Lucas from Livewire Productions. Check out our site, www.livewireproductions.com.au. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And until next time, keep calm and render on.